Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of Java full stack development. We're talking about a complete breakdown from the fundamental building blocks to building complex applications. So if you're ready to conquer the world of Java full stack development, buckle up, smash that like button and let's get started on this incredible journey. All right. Before we jump into building the next Facebook, we've got to start with the basics. First up, data types. These are the building blocks of your code, telling your program what kind of information it's dealing with, like numbers, text, or true-false values. Then we have loops, which are like those automated tasks on your phone. They let you repeat actions efficiently. Arrays come next. Think of them like digital containers for organizing your data, and of course, we can't forget strings, which are essentially sequences of characters like the words you're reading right now. We'll dive deep into OOP concepts like inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation and abstraction, giving you the tools to write clean, efficient and reusable code. Imagine working on a complex project, making tons of changes and then accidentally deleting something important. Yeah. That's where version control swoops in to save the day. In this chapter, we're diving into Git, the superhero of collaboration and code management. Think of Git like a time machine for your code. We'll cover the essentials like making commits to save your progress, creating branches to experiment with new features, and merging those changes back into the main project. Platforms like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket take version control to the next level allowing teams to work together seamlessly on projects of any size. You'll learn how to contribute to open source projects, collaborate with other developers, and build a portfolio that showcases your skills to the world. Now that we've got the back end covered, it's time to focus on what your users see and interact with, the front end. First up, we have HTML, the backbone of every web page. Think of HTML as the skeleton defining the structure and content of your site. But a website needs more than just bones, right? That's where CSS comes in. CSS is all about adding style and visual appeal to your HTML. We'll experiment with colors, fonts, layouts and responsive design, ensuring your website looks stunning on any device. And finally, we have JavaScript, the language that brings your web pages to life. Chapter 4. Level up your front-end, mastering frameworks like React. Remember how we talked about OOP, making your code more efficient? Well, front-end frameworks take that same concept and apply it to web development. In this chapter, we're diving into the world of React.js, one of the most popular and powerful JavaScript libraries out there. React is all about building dynamic and interactive user interfaces using components. We'll explore React's component-based architecture, learn about state management to handle dynamic data, and master the art of using hooks to create efficient and reusable components. And to make your life even easier, we'll also touch upon popular UI libraries like Bootstrap and Material UI, which provide pre-built components and styling options to give your web apps a sleek and professional look. Chapter 5 back-end development with Java, building the engine of your applications. All right, it's time to head back to the server side and build the powerful back-end logic that drives your web applications. In this chapter, we'll be using Java and the Spring Framework to create robust and scalable applications. First up, we'll delve into Java servlets, which act as the bridge between your web server and your Java code. You'll learn how to handle HTTP requests, process data and send responses back to the client. We'll explore concepts like dependency injection, inversion of control, IOC, and the model view controller, MVC architecture, which helps you build well-structured and maintainable applications. And of course, no back-end is complete without a database to store and manage your data. Chapter six, database deep dive mastering SQL and ORM. Data is the lifeblood of any application, and in this chapter we're diving deep into the world of databases. We'll explore different database management systems, master the art of writing efficient SQL queries, 
and learn how to interact with databases seamlessly using Java. We'll start with SQL, the language used to communicate with relational databases. You'll learn how to perform CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete, join tables to combine data from multiple sources, and write complex queries to extract meaningful insights from your database. That's where Object Relational Mapping, ORM, comes in. We'll be using Hibernate, a popular Java ORM framework to map your Java objects to database tables, making data persistence a breeze. Chapter 7. Web Security Essentials, Protecting Your Applications and Users. In today's digital landscape, security is paramount. We'll start with the basics of web security, covering common vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting or XSS and SQL injection, and how to prevent them. You'll learn about encryption, authentication and authorization, ensuring that only authorized users can access sensitive information. Then we'll dive into the world of Spring Security, a powerful framework that integrates seamlessly with Spring Boot to provide robust security features. You'll learn how to implement user authentication using various methods like username and password, social logins or JWT, which stands for JSON Web Token. Chapter 8. DevOps demystified deploying and managing your Java applications. You've built an amazing Java application, but now it's time to share it with the world. In this chapter, we're entering the world of DevOps, a set of practices that bridge the gap between development and operations, making your deployment process smooth and efficient. We'll start with Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment, CICD, a practice that automates the process of building, testing and deploying your code. You'll learn how to set up CICD pipelines using tools like Jenkins, which automatically test your code for errors and deploy it to your servers whenever you make changes. Next up, we'll explore Docker, a powerful tool for containerizing your applications. Docker allows you to package your application and its dependencies into a portable container, making it easy to deploy on any platform that supports Docker. Chapter 9. Testing, testing, one, two, three, ensuring your code is rock solid. Writing code is one thing, but writing code that works flawlessly is a whole other ball game. In this chapter, we're diving into the world of software testing, equipping you with the skills to write robust and reliable Java applications. We'll start with unit testing, a fundamental practice where you test individual units of your code in isolation to ensure they're working correctly. We'll be using Junit, a popular Java testing framework, to write and execute unit tests. Then we'll move on to integration testing, where you test how different modules of your application interact with each other. Chapter 10, From Zero to Hero. Building projects and showcasing your skills. You've learned the fundamentals, mastered the tools, and now it's time to put your skills to the test. In this final chapter, we'll guide you through building real-world Java full-stack projects that will solidify your knowledge and impress potential employers. We'll start with an e-commerce platform where you'll use Spring Boot for the back-end, React for the front-end, and a database to manage products, orders, and user information. You'll learn how to handle user authentication, process payments, and manage inventory. Next up, we'll build a social media platform. This project will cover everything from user profiles and authentication to real-time messaging and social feeds, giving you a taste of building highly scalable and engaging web applications. Outro level up your tech game. The journey continues, and there you have it. A comprehensive roadmap to mastering Java full-stack development. By now, you're equipped with the knowledge, tools, and resources to build powerful, dynamic, and scalable web applications that can change the world. Remember, this is just the beginning of your journey. The tech world is constantly evolving, so embrace the learning process, stay curious, and never stop exploring new technologies. Until next time, keep coding, keep creating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.